Hi everyone, Miss Annie. So today I have a craft for everyone to try. It's gonna be super fun, especially in these times. So it's a mail a hug. So you're gonna need to make a card. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but you could just use a piece of paper, fold it in half, use markers, crayons, colored pencils, stickers, whatever, to decorate it so that you can include that with your mail a hug. You're gonna need a piece of white paper. Cardstock would be better because it's thicker and you're going to be putting paint on it, but regular paper would work as well. You're going to need some scissors to cut out your handprint. You're going to need some washable paint, whatever color you want to use. You're going to need a stapler. You're going to need a paintbrush to put the paint on your hand, and you'll need a plate to put that paint on. And finally, you're going to need some ribbon. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your paint on your plate and then you're going to use your brush to paint your entire hand. So after I painted my hand, I went ahead and just stamped it down onto my piece of paper, making sure that as you're doing that, you're pushing down each of your fingers so that the paint gets off of them and push down in the middle so that you can try to get that center of your palm. If you want, you can go back and fill that in, but you also cannot, it's up to you. And now you're gonna do the exact same thing with your other hand. I've done both my handprints on my piece of paper and I have gone and washed my hands because you use washable paint it should wash right off in the sink. You also can use like baby wipes to wipe it off. So now you're just going to wait until these dry to make it easier to cut them out. While you're waiting for these to dry you can work on that card that you're going to include um, and decide who you're going to send it to. Another thing you can work on while you're waiting for your handprints to dry is figure out how long you need your ribbon to be. So you're going to hold one end of the ribbon in one hand and hold the other end and the other hand and stretch your arms out wide as they can go and so like that's how big your hug would be and so you're going to cut your ribbon right here in that other hand so your ribbon is as long as your arms basically. Now my hand prints are dry enough so you're just going to cut around them. You don't have to go like in between the fingers and go super close, that's up to you. you I'm probably just going to cut around so it's like a general shape of the hand. I've cut out both of my hands and now you're going to staple one end of the ribbon to each of them. I've stapled my ribbon onto my hands and now I have my huge male hug. So now what you can do is you can fold this up and wrap the ribbon around it however you want to do it and put this and your card in an envelope and mail it to somebody that you're really missing. You also can get more creative with this and you can draw on your hands. If you want to put jewelry or nails, you could write messages on the back of them. This is a super fun craft. This is great for right now when we can't see the people that we love. So try this out, send it, make as many as you want, send it to all the people you love and have fun.